Intention beads, believe and achieve. Link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological week without a doubt. There are huge moves happening in the sky, but I do think for you the most important is the fact that Pluto in your sign in the first days of the month is going to go direct. Now you add to this, it is a blue moon month, which means we start the month on a full moon, end the month on a full moon. Well, it does tell me that there'll be a whole lot of emotions and perhaps even a bit of a roller coaster for you with a sky like this. So let's start with right out of the gate. It is going to be on the first of the month that we are going to have a full moon. This full moon is happening at the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky, having to do with your understanding of your past. It has to do with home and family of origin. Now, this full moon is hand in hand with Chiron. There's a lot of emotionality at this time and a sense of desire and it is right on the surface. Now, as I mentioned, Pluto, right around the fourth of the month, is going to officially go direct, which means under the light of this full moon, Pluto is slowing right down, is standing still at the height of its power. So it looks like whatever is happening, you are feeling it that much more. And it may be at this time that ultimately you are bringing a healing lens to what was, reconciling yourself with the past and making peace with it. It may be at this time that you may find yourself making peace with or being a force of positive transformation in the relationship that you have with a family member. And it is also possible here that you are considering your home environment in some way, whether that's your first home environment, like your childhood, or your current home environment, and looking at how it can be a place of power and a place of healing, where it is that you need to bring greater attention and greater focus to feeling more at home, right where you are, whether that's a place or whether that's within your own body, within your own skin, it is going to be the first days of the month that bring profound insight and healing in this regard. Now, as we navigate to the middle of the month, right around the 16th is when we are going to have this month's new moon. This new moon is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with career, social standing, life purpose. It has to do with your goals and your understanding of the legacy that you are creating. Now, here's the thing. This is a complicated new moon. New moons bring new opportunities, yes. But this new moon is speaking in tension with Jupiter, with Saturn, and with Pluto. All of these three planets are in your sign. There is a lot of desire at this time. There's a real sense of you wanting something, yearning for something, even going for something. There may be some frustration, but if that is channeled, it can be incredible power. And remember, with this conglomerate of planets in your sign, this is power without a doubt. In fact, I would say that this energy of all the signs out there could end up helping you the most because it is in your sign. Now also keep in mind, once we get to December, that's when Jupiter's gonna leave your sign, Saturn's gonna leave your sign. And so this group of planets, so powerfully placed now, this is a rare occurrence and it is happening for you now. And this is in some ways the universe giving you this one more chance to make the most of the sense of responsibility, the work ethic, the desire and the belief that you can make your circumstances better and the sense of focus that you have with you. It all comes together towards the achievement of some aim. Now this can represent a new opportunity. There may be some mixed feelings on your part about it and yet you will be able to make the most of whatever does show up. There may be a sense of a new project or new beginning or even a new boss now. Again, there might be uncertainty. It may be you that's taking on more responsibility at this time. But ultimately, this does represent a moment of you moving forward and truly shining. And yet, the fact that there's a sense that maybe that isn't happening, that will ensure that you make the most of this time and work that much harder. Now, as we get to the end of the month, that is when we are going to have a full moon just in time for Halloween, hand in hand with Uranus. 
This full moon is a surprise a minute. This full moon is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with what you want in your heart of hearts, uh, what it is that's going to be creatively fulfilling for you. It also has to do with children you want and children that you have. Keep in mind your fertility may take you very much by surprise. So if that's something you're not really wanting, there are of course things that you can do to channel this energy in other ways. And yet this energy can also suggest that you have a breakthrough moment where it comes to a creative endeavor. If you are somebody who's hoping for attention for a creative project, this full moon can be a wonderful opportunity. But remember, this is Uranus. It can go in all kinds of directions. Yes, it could be supremely positive and leap you into the future, but it can be uncomfortable as well as very quickly you and what you want becomes very visible. And there isn't a lot of certainty with this energy also. And so where it is that you're tapping into some truer desire, some sense of wanting to be fulfilled, this is wonderful energy to use. Now, I would also say it may be a good idea to buy a lottery ticket, but make sure you don't bet the farm. You want to stay in an energy of abundance. But I think that some of the best opportunities and very likely, possibly, a remarkable turnaround, a windfall of some kind could show up for you that does take you aback, that does take you by surprise, but also by delight, especially in the days surrounding the full moon. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is also about that full moon having to do with what your heart truly desires. And I do think the end of the month has love taking you by surprise. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, while you will be very surprisingly to you, be flirting with somebody and whom it is may take you by surprise or the opportunity to flirt may take you by surprise as well. Things can move very quickly with Uranus, but there's not a whole lot of sticking power here, at least not just yet. And so I would say enjoy the moment because the moment can feel accelerated, especially when connecting with someone new. For those of you who have just started to date somebody, I feel like this full moon is all or nothing. It is either you seeing this person differently, so much so that you just fall in love, or seeing this person differently, so much so that you go a whole other direction. There's no in between with this energy. It is very all or nothing. And you will know whether or not you want to continue uh, getting to know and aligning with this person. For those of you who are in an established bond, this is what your heart wants, very much open, very much out there. And it will be very hard to hold back where it is that maybe you haven't felt as connected on a heart level. This can also be romantic surprises, but also romantic shocks as well. So I would say it may not be the best idea to plan romantic surprises at this time. However, you are going to gain tremendous insight into how connected you feel on a heart level with your partner, how much love truly is here. What I love about this month for you, well, look, I'm going to say Halloween, that full moon, because this is a part of the sky that is fun. And I know that with Uranus, it can go in either direction. Either it's going to be a shock that you love or a shock that you really wish wasn't. And yet there is also a sense of fulfillment happening then. There is spontaneous and very surprising moments of sheer fun. At the very least, that full moon will give you some truly memorable moments that you may always remember and always cherish. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.